Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.18 For a person who is satisfied in the self, there is no pious benefits to achieve by performing prescribed duties in this world, nor is there any fault incurred by not performing them. For attaining his purpose, he does not feel the need to depend on any living being in the universe. Sarardavashni Krita refers to a person who is not obliged to perform his prescribed duty, nor has any desire to be fulfilled through them. Akrita means that even though he does not perform his occupational duty, he is not at fault. There is no jiva in the universe, either moving or non-moving, who can act as a suitable shelter for him and help him attain his purpose. The word Vyapashrayaha has been described in the Puranas as follows. Vasudeve Bhagavati Bhaktim Utvahatam Rinam Jnana Vairagya Viryanam Nahi Kaschit Ya Pashrayaha Srimad Bhagavatam 6.17.31 A person endowed with devotion to Bhagavan Vasudeva does not take shelter of knowledge, renunciation or strength, nor is he interested in them. Moreover, it is stated in Srimad Bhagavatam 2.4.18 Yat Apashraya Shrayaha Shudyanti A living entity becomes purified merely by taking shelter of those who are surrendered to Sri Bhagavan. Sarardavashini Prakashikariti A person who derives pleasure exclusively within the self does not achieve piety by performing his prescribed duties, nor does he become implicated in sin by not performing them. Every jiva, both moving and non-moving, beginning with Lord Brahma, remains absorbed in enjoying material happiness due to the misconception of identifying the body with the self. There every action is performed for sense enjoyment. But the self-satisfied saintly persons who are free from the desire are completely beyond the self-interest of material sense gratification. They do not even care for knowledge and renunciation, which are the natural shelter of the renunciants. This is because they have taken shelter of bhakti, devotion to the Supreme Lord, which is the natural function of the self. Knowledge and renunciation manifests in them as a matter of course, since both are subordinate to bhakti. In Srimad Bhagavatam 11.2.42, Sri Kavi speaks to Maharaja Nimi. Bhaktihi Parishanu Babo Viraktir Anyatra Chaisha Trika Eka Kalaha Brapat Yamanasya Yatash Nataha Shus Tushti Pushti Kshut Apayo Nu Gasyam With each mouthful of food that a hungry person takes, three effects are simultaneously accomplished. He obtains satisfaction, he is nourished, and his hunger ceases. Similarly, surrendered souls who are engaged in the performance of bhajan simultaneously experience three effects. The awakening of devotion to Bhagavan, which ultimately develops into prema, or pure love for him, a direct manifestation of Bhagavan's beloved form, and detachment from material objects. One may raise the following question. In the Vedas it is said, Tasmat isam tan na priyam yat itan manushya viduhu. 
The demigods do not want human beings to attain knowledge of the Supreme. Briyat Aran Yakopanishad 1.4.10 It is also seen in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.18.14 Viprasya vai sanyasato deva daradi rupinaha Viknat kurvanti ayam hi asman akramya samiyat param Knowing that brahmanas will surpass them by taking sannyas and obtaining knowledge of the truth of the Supreme, the demigods take birth to become their wives or children and create obstacles on their path. Is it thus proper to worship the demigods to eliminate these obstacles? In this regard, the Shruti state that even though the demigods present these obstacles, they are, in fact, unable to harm the spiritual aspirants, because the Atma himself protects them. This Atma is the self of all selfes, Param Atma. Vasudeva para Veda, Vasudeva para Makaha, Vasudeva para Yoga, Vasudeva para Kriyaha, Srimad Bhagavatam, 1.2.28 According to this statement, Vasudeva, Krishna, is the original soul of all other souls. By worshipping him, one can gain the affection of everyone. All the demigods are ultimately compelled to show affection and respect to those who have Krishna Bhakti. In addition, it is stated, Bhakti stu Bhagavat Bhakta Sangina Pari Jayati. One attains Bhakti only by the association of the devotees of Bhagavan. This statement of scripture means that just as for the devotees, Sri Bhagavan is the only suitable shelter if one desires devotion to him. It is necessary to take shelter of his devotees. For this reason, Shveta Shvatara Upanishad 6.23 states, Yasya Deva Para Bhaktir Yata Deve Tata Guru Tasyate Katitahi Artahaha Prakashante Mahatmanaha All the hidden meanings of the Shrutis are revealed only in the heart of that great soul who has the highest transcendental devotion for Sri Bhagavan and also his representative Sri Gurudeva.